Okay, everyone. Ryan and Wine got here. I'm back. After that, atrocious, disgusting one I just tried. But granted, it was sort of an experimental wine. Yes, a lot. All the wines that I review, I've never tried. But at least I have a base of wines that I know I like. I never tried that uh, Beaujolais uh, re um, region before of the Burgundy. So I didn't know what to expect. I have a, had other French wines that I know I like. So that that was a tester and uh, unfortunately did not go as planned. Um, so this one is a Valpolicella and it's an Italian wine. I love Italian wines. I love Valpolicellas. I'm almost certain I at least will have a good rating of this. If not a great rating. It is from Tomasi. So I've reviewed them before with another one I really enjoyed. It is their 2014 Raphael Falpolicella Classico Supreme. This is their bottle. This is their wine. And as I mentioned before the last one, they are indeed imported by Vintis LLC. So all Tomasi are imported by Vintis. It's a 12.5%, so which the wine I just did was 12%. So more on the lighter um, side, um, especially from Italy, Fapolicella. They will be more on a 125 down to 12, maybe as high as 13, but you're looking at around 12 or 12 and a half for Fat Polo Since 1902, our family has dedicated itself to the art of viticulture in Fat Polo Classica and another vineyard holdings of historic importance in the province of Verona. This wine is vined exclusively from ingenious grapes. Corvina, Rondinella, and Molinara are aged for 15 months in barrels of Slavonian oak, best with meats and cheeses. And see how it's doing on the nose. Oh man. That is a very, very nice nose. Almost as if it's dry cherry. I want to say some leather. And some very good spices. Um, kind of has a like a pepper on it, like a, like like black pepper on a spice. Maybe even a hint of cinnamon. So you know, so like like the stuff like bacon spices. Um, uh, the palate. Let's see. Oh, much better. God, thank you, Jesus. Much better. A very smooth, easy going down wine. It just hits you with these light, not like an overpowering like the last one, but these light fruit. Um, flavors. I want to say there's maybe some strawberry in there, a little bit of, a little bit of blackberry, hint of cherry. Semi gives you that jam 
flavor. It's not like, I wouldn't say it's a jammy wine, but it kind of does give you a little bit of jam sort of taste. You definitely get those spices coming out, not like strong spices, but a nice dancing on your tongue sort of spices um, from the oak. More on the acidic side, uh, so very kind of mouth-watering as it goes down, not really dry at all. There might be a, maybe a long-term dryness, um, um, but not, not that it hits you right away. So moreover, a mouth-watering start on the acids, and then the tannins kind of, now that I've been talking, are starting to form. But it's not like a strong, strong high tannin. It's just kind of like a medium tannin sort of long-term effect. A perfect, perfect way uh, that I would like a Falpolicella. It just kind of melts in your mouth, then it dances in your mouth, and then it has this long sort of farewell. Very well played out, this one is. Very well. Um, but, you know, take into account the 2014. Two-year-old wine. So, it's, uh, it's good for what it is. Um, I like it. They are usually on the pricier side. Um, well, I would say they're kind of like on that 10 to $15 range on some places. 15 20 depending on where you live. Um, but overall, I would say it is well worth enjoying this. Easily on its own or with food easily. Um, a very light fare, you know, 12.5%. So by all means, feel free to drink this whole thing. And I, I just, yeah. Um, for, so I, I'm just really... Glad I kind of caught that last wine that it started really tasting sour at the end. This, this is by all means, hands down, fan a fantastic one. One I think could be enjoyed for another couple of years. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Um, I think what it does lack a little bit is. The nose and the powder are pretty much identical. I sort of like either there to be a surprise on the palate. If there's a surprise on the palate that's not necessarily on the nose, then I kind of enjoy that more. Um, but o overall, still a very good wine. Um, I would say the aromas could have time to sort of expand a little bit. Like I said, there are three distinct aromas there. But really, there's just three distinct aromas, or maybe maybe four: cherry, blackberry, um, uh, and pepper. Maybe even a little bit of, and then a little bit of leather. So, so four. Some people might get a little bit more, but there's there's really four main things that stick out. Um, but obviously, you have to really have a good whiff of it. You can't just like go. You know, you got to really go, really just, you know, almost as if you're trying to clear your nose out. And then you do get the aromas in there. So, still does have some time to open up, you know. But I feel that it will have that time to open up. And I'm sure even in the glass as the night goes on, um, it will have time to really open up. And the flavors will really have time to enhance. And I think even over the next couple years, even as it sits in the bottle, it will have time to really grasp itself together and grow. So this one, a lot better than the other one I just did a few minutes ago, which I'm, uh, I think my stepdad said he's going to make wine cookies out of it if I didn't like it. I've never heard of wine cookies, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to save him, man. I'm going to save him the bottle and, 
If he wants it, great. If he doesn't, we'll just dump the rest down the drain. But I don't think I will ever, ever do another review by not only Louis Jadot ever again, I don't think I'll ever do another review of a Beaujolais ever again because it tasted like sour grape juice. But this this review was Tomasi Raphael Falpolicella. Bottle one more time. Twelve and a half percent alcohol by volume. Four and a half stars. Wine from Italy. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. And actually, I may be only doing two reviews a week now. I usually do sometimes three. And maybe even start to get down to one. Um, we'll have to see. I won't be doing another one until probably Sunday. Because now I've got another extra day at work. So that's really good. Um, I was looking, been really looking forward to that. But I'll definitely will try to do another one on Sunday. If at the latest again, maybe on Tuesday. It might be a Sunday, Tuesday kind of deal for me from now on. But until Sunday, everyone, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. Cheers.